boys and girls and children of all ages, this is your revolutionary nerd bringing a review of Pokemon TCG Decidui GX Premium Collection. Now we're going to be very quiet. He is the Shadow Hunter. He stays stealthed. He is probably the best of the three starter GXs, to be honest with you. For competitive and right now, because everybody likes to play water decks, apparently. That's a thing. Now, you'll get uh, your occasional Flareon EX in here, but everybody likes to do water boxes. And with Greninja getting ready to have a strong comeback, you know, let's not get too crazy. But, bam, Decidui GX. Ooh, it's opposite this time. The artwork, you got your Rowlet line right here. How adorable is that Rowlet? That baby Rowlet. Then you got your teenage angst bow tie. Yeah, whatever. And then you have your, uh, your man with the owl, the man with the power, too sweet to be sour. So, um... Uh, Let's tell you what comes in here. You get a full art promo. You get a foil card of each. A uh, Rowlet and Dartrix. You get a Decidueye pin. Six booster packs. One foil oversized Decidueye uh, GX. Uh, one cool new uh, Decidueye coin. Which is, I don't know what's cool about coins. But hey, they're rad. Uh, a code card for the set. So, without further ado, we're going to open them up. Get our freaking hands back there and just slide them open like that. Yeah. All right, Decidueye box. We we don't love you anymore. Go away. Are you causing racket back there, man? All right, so we're going to pop a coin out. Let's take a look at the coin in the pan first. So the coin goes like this. That is a lot of green, boys and girls. That is a lot of green. Oh, that awesome Decidueye coin. It's pretty cool. He's a shadow hunter. I don't know if he's called the shadow hunter. I like to call him the shadow hunter because he plays in the shadow. He's a ghost and he's got a bow, which the hunters use. But you know what? We don't matter. But look at the awesome coin. A little cool little artwork. Not what you came here to see. Now here's my favorite things of these packs is these beautiful pins. Oh, look at that. Decidueye is gorgeous. Look at that. That is a beautiful pin. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. And the great, all of his little detail there, his little cape, his little hood. That's awesome. Okay. We're going to look at the three cards here, which I don't know who packages this stuff, but holy crap, can you guys figure out another way to put these cards in here without me getting them all bent and stuff? Beautiful Decidueye deck. Now, personally, I have never ran any type of a grass deck. But I have seen... And I can't remember his name. I have seen a Decidueye Voliplume deck do really well. In uh, one of the regionals. So that can... Maybe a few tweaks to that. I can see a Decidueye going in. Maybe a Decidueye... If you're going to do expanded Decidueye... Run Decidueye with maybe a... Um, Quaking Punch. Can't remember his name. Off the top of my head. You can't use one of the such item cards. Uh, Decidueye is really good. Only problem is you got... To, it's, it's the it's perfect that he's a grass type. Because Force of Giant Plants, you're going to need. That's what you're going to run here. Feather Arrow. Uh, once during your turn, you may put two damage counters on one of your Pokemon. Opponent's Pokemon. If you have four of these up, that's 80 damage. Uh, that's going to knock out a lot of Stage 1 Pokemon that are used for Evolutionary Lines. That's going to knock out, in two turns, that's going to knock out a Shaman, uh, a Jolteon. Um, but he's got Razor Leaf for two colorless and one, which is okay. Hollow Hunt, put three cards from your discard pile into your hand. I don't think you're going to use this. Um, but you might if you get get into where you actually need it. But there's your Decidueye. Let's see the next. We're going to do Dartrix. 
Same thing, Dartrix is from the Sun and Moon base set. A cute little hollow. Look at him, he's like, yeah. It looks like they're throwing ping pong rackets at him, or ping pong paddle, ping pong paddles. Who calls it a ping pong racket? Jeez. And next is the man himself, Rowlet. He is the guy. Right? The guy. He's awesome. A little cute little Rowlet. We may have gotten this one already. I'm not 100% sure. We've gotten a lot of uh, stage one, um, this gen starters that are hollow. But let's move him out of the way. Let's get to why we all come here. Why we all came to see what we came to see. Actually, let's look at the the giant full art first. A little bit better. Feather arrow, razor leaf. It looks cool. You know. Awesome little cigar. I don't know why I did that. I, I really don't. I, I don't. I don't know why I did that. That's, uh... So, yeah. That's a thing. That's a thing. Um, this comes with... Two Sun and Moon Guardian Rising packs. A if I can get this out. A Pokemon Evolutions pack. The code card for this. A Pokemon Breakthrough pack. A Steam Siege pack. And a Sun and Moon Base Set pack. We are going to go from release, so we're going to go with Breakthrough first, then Steam Siege, Evolution, Sun and Moon, and then Sun and Moon, Guardians Rising. Alright, X and Y, Breakthrough, what are we going to get? Nobody knows. Hopefully it's something good. Uh, anything good would be great. But at this point, who knows? Who really knows? We got a Panseer, a Ralts, a Swinub, a Noibat, a Skidoo, a Quilladen, a Sandslash, a Primplup, a Reverse Hollow Parasect, and our rare is a Non Hollow Raichu. Okay. Okay, it's a start. Next is our Steam Siege pack, and it's going to lead us off with... Looks like a Mankey. I don't even know if we got a good Mankey Primate combination in forever. Oh, I might want to do this. I want to do the card trick, hey. That might help us, right? So we got a Mankey, a Celos, a Dino, a Larvesta, an A Palm, a Clang, a Ninja Boy, a Monferno, a Shellos, and our rare is a Mega 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 Steelix. Yeah. Now, since this is a fighting and a steel, theoretically. And you can use Maxine's Hidden Ball trick, right, to get out a stage two. Could you technically get out a Mega Steelix? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Probably not, but hey, it's a cool theory. Got a Mega Steelix. All right, EX. We can, we can take that, guys. We have for Steam Seeds to come through when we need them to come through. Okay, we got a X and Y Evolutions next. What are we gonna get out of here? I'm not sure what left we need. What left we need? What we need that is left? But we got a Machop. We got a Weedle. We got a Duduo. We got a Star You, an Onyx, a Poliwhirl. We got a Pokedex. We got a Potion. We got a Reverse Voltorb, and our rare is a Mewtwo non-holographic. Although we did get the cool Mewtwo, I like that Mewtwo. 
first ever hollow pull ever was Mewtwo from base set. Next is our Sun and Moon base set. That's kind of cool. You go from the reprint of the base set to Sun and Moon base set. I like that. One, two, three, four. One, two. We got here. What do we got here? We got a Sandy Gas. We got a Cater Caterpie or Caterpie, whichever you prefer. A Skarmory, a Malu, a Chinchou, a Dark Energy, a Lily, a Spanda. An experienced share, a cutie fly reverse, and our rare is a two cannon. Two cannon, two cannot. Who knows? Yeah, Sun and Moon Guardians Rising pack number one here. Now, the Guardians Rising, we're not always looking for hollows or rares. We're looking for some awesome inner, uh, trainer cards. So, I would love to get a choice band, please. Thank you. Beware, Raken. Okay. Whimsicott. Ooh, Gothard Tell. And the rare is... Okay, the other cheerleader. The yellow one. As in, electric... Back. Anyway, yeah. Feather Dance. That's cool. Guardians Rising number two. What are we going to get here? It could be a dud, guys. I feel like it's a dud. I feel like we're getting a dud here. Like it's a bad pack. Because we have not bought it. We could have, we could have not, you know. Alright. Give it a good luck, guys. Right. Let's do this. We got a Deli Bird, a Trubbish, a Machop, a Rockruff, a Beldum, a Steel Energy. Ooh, Field Blower. Thank you. I need those. A Gotharita, a Sableye. Ooh, a Reverse Hollow is a Weeping Bell, and our rare is. Oh, a holographic Mudsdale. Okay, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's not the ideal pick, but that's not bad. <clears throat> all right, to recap what we got, we got the Rowlet line with Rowlet, Dartrix, and Decidueye GX full art, which is awesome. We got a holographic Mudsdale from Sun and Moon Guardians Rising, and we got a... Mega Steelix EX from Steam Siege, which is pretty cool. Anyways, guys, this has been your Revolutionary Nerd signing out, saying see you next time.